and we welcome on stage Mayor of Taurac, Dovidas Kaminskas and Mayor of Saragossa, Natalia Chueca. Wonderful. So I see we're not allowed to sit down for this final session, so it's going to be more dynamic and, and lively. Yes. And I know that we're looking forward, of course, uh, in a moment to, to welcoming um, uh, Vice President uh, Timmermans, who's going to say a few um, uh, closing, closing remarks. Uh, but before that, I mean, we have an opportunity in the, in the few minutes, uh, or even a bit more than that, uh, to hear from uh, two of our, our mayors who've been participating in the discussion up till now. Um, so uh, we have uh, in particular the, um, the, ah, you found some chairs. Ah, Marvellous. Um, we have the, the mayor of uh, Zaragoza, one of the, um, uh, the Spanish cities that has uh, already uh, shared with us the, um, the draft uh, climate city contract. So. Um, Maybe I, I, I start with you. I don't know whether you'd like to come here and make a few remarks. Uh, I mean, really, the question is, what do you take away from this conference? You know, going back to your, to your council, to your elected representatives, um, what is the two or three big messages that, that, that you, you bring back? Positive messages, maybe some questions or some ideas that you want to develop further when you uh, continue the conversation. But in, in sort of drawing uh, what has been, I think, a very rich 48 hours or so of discussion to a close, uh, what are your personal impressions, please? Well, uh, thank you very much, Patrick. Uh, thank you for everybody to stay here uh, attending this interesting meeting. Uh, well, do you think, I think that the most important point uh, for the next cities that want to go to the next call uh, for the uh, citizen uh, climate contract is uh, to have the political commitment. This is very important because uh, technically, uh, I think everybody is agree, but the point is uh, to push from uh, the higher level uh, to alienate uh, all the departments, all the areas that need to have uh, this effort to change the model in, in the city. The, uh, another important point is uh, to believe that is really uh, a positive impact in all the citizens. We are working for improve the health and the uh, quality of life of all the citizens in our cities. And for this, uh, it's important to uh, work uh, innovating. And uh, for instance, Zaragoza, some years ago, was a follower learning from other cities, and now we are innovating and we are leading the transformation of the model uh, of the cities in Europe. So I think that is a good opportunity to share information, to learn with uh, the rest of the cities in Europe, and is really a very interesting practice uh, with, uh, of work, uh, way of working. So I think that is uh, the be uh, best in practice, uh, best cases to learn from, from the leaders. And this is interesting for, for the companies also. Um, we are now working in very innovative projects in different areas. Mo uh, mobility, sustain sustainable mobility, uh, in uh, circular economy, uh, renewable energy, or re re greening and renaturalization uh, the cities. So it's very important the work that our teams are doing continuously, sharing the projects, sharing the information, uh, sharing the problems they have in the execution, and uh, this allow us to be faster. Because I think the most important point for all the cities that are, that are thinking to go uh, to the mission is um, that what we are uh, doing is accelerating the transformation of our city because we have 
uh, fewer time than the rest of the cities. We want to achieve the goals uh, in seven years, uh, no more, and then uh, make the uh, force everybody to work together to be faster. And I think another important, important point is that uh, we are working aligning the um, community objectives, uh, what is important for European Union, the, the, the general goals, with the programs that we have in each of our uh, city towns, and the municipalities. Uh, so it's a, a good point because all this is only uh, possible when we work together with a collaborative and co-governance project. This is another uh, step very important uh, with the, the citizens, the associations, the universities, the companies, and, and at the end, we are um, getting together one uh, city, uh, town goal. So it's a project for all the city together, and this is very, very important. So. I think that is, these are the, the possibilities, the best benefits, and I encourage to other, uh, other cities uh, to come to the mission and to uh, sign the uh, city climate contract because there are many um, advantages, uh, many benefits for the present and for the future. Well, thank you very much, uh, Natalia Kreka, Mayor of Saragossa, for those. Uh, Thoughts, and in particular, I mean, the, your final message about the need for the climate city contracts to be a genuine, collective, co-created adventure involving all of the stakeholders in, 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 the, in the community, uh, because it's, it's by bringing everyone together around this sort of united sense of purpose that you have the best chance then of taking it to the next stage, stage and delivering against the very ambitious deadlines that, that uh, we have um, uh, set for ourselves. Um, so now I'd like to turn to uh, uh, Dovidas uh, Kaminskas, who is a mayor of uh, Tourage. Tour, Tour, Tour I've been practicing all afternoon and still failed, so I apologize. But uh, we met, I think, a, a year ago at the, uh, the first conference uh, uh, which we had to launch the, um, uh, the mission uh, when I was uh, just taking up the responsibilities as, um, uh, as mission manager. Um, and so, I mean, in, in representing perhaps one of the, the smaller cities in the mission, um, it'd be great to hear from you, you know, how the adventure has been unfolding. You know, how is this conference, you know, feels different from last year? Um, and, and, you know, what, what are you um, uh, hoping to get from uh, the mission working forward? And do you have a particular message for cities that, you know, maybe applied to join the mission at the beginning were not accepted, but, but still want to you know, associate themselves with the progress we're making. So please, uh, Mayor. Okay, thank you, thank you, Patrick. Thank you, colleagues, for having me here. And uh, I'm very glad to sit down here with all the people, like-minded people, who have the same vision, the same mission. Uh, and uh, I would say that all of us uh, here are people that are courageous to make mistakes. Because uh, this mission is nothing but making mistakes, but uh, we need to have a courage to, to do that, political courage. Uh, but the first point where I want to start is um, about the rhetorics of uh, not only us, our cities, but about the rhetorics about the climate. And uh, when I hear the word crisis, I just, uh, I, I can't stand that word. I think the, that word was created by the politicians that cannot take a, accountability. And likewise, the, there was no energy crisis uh, in, in Europe because there was a energy uh, prices. Uh, it, it was a consequence of bad decisions or not making a decisions by politicians or by everybody else. The climate is the same. We don't have any climate crisis. We have climate consequences because of our actions. And I think that's the most important thing when we are speaking about the mission or, 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 or about the, all the things that we are doing. Because we need to solve and we need to live with those consequences that we have made. A hundred years ago we started and we have a, we have a situation where we cannot uh, take back. We have to look in the future, but we have to look in the future with accountability. And let's not at least all those people here in this uh, event or in this mission, let's not 
use that word crisis because it takes out accountability of everything. So where, that's where I want to start. And the next thing, yeah. <laughs> The next thing is uh, about the smallest city uh, being uh, in, in this missions, mission. And uh, Tauragye is a very small city, 25,000 people, uh, in the, near the border with the Kaliningrad, uh, near Russia. And, uh, you know, we are, sometimes we are lacking the, the, you know, the proudness of your city. Uh, and, uh, and that mission, or making into that mission, is not only, you know, trying to be climate neutral. It's uh, trying to be ourselves again, taking back our courage of, uh, and, and, the, and the proud of our city, the proud of our region, the proud of Lithuania. And, uh, and the moment we announced that we are one of the hundred cities in Europe, people started thinking, wow, that's, that's, that's serious. And uh, you know, the mayor before me, I was advisor to the mayor before, uh, and uh, he started, you know, speaking about the sustainability, about the green transition, about everything, and people were showing, oh, he's stupid, what he's talking about here. But still, we were doing a lot of things, and it was a lot of chaos, but a lot of uh, results, but a lot of chaos. We didn't know, we, we, we wanted to do a lot, but we didn't know what we're doing, actually. And this city's mission, uh, what gave to us, and why I recommend to other cities that are not in the mission to look at that city's mission, because we, then you can get a framework of uh, how you need to start, uh, where you, you, you start, you know, where with a planning, with a strategy, then you go with a horizontal politics, you go to the vertic vertical politics of a national, you know, level, and then you go to the school, then you go to the, to the, uh, to the community's uh, financial programs, and then you put all the priorities that are reaching the goal of climate neutrality. You change uh, the perception of, uh, of, 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 of uh, administration of the city. You, change, you, you, you put the priority in every small part of the development of the community, of the persons, and of, on, and, and, uh, and of the economy of the city. And I think that's the most important thing. And the best uh, uh, result that uh, I got was actually last week before I can run, right now I cannot. But uh, I was running down the, down the city uh, and, I, I, and I go to the park and there were children playing in the park and they saw me. Uh, of course they knew uh, that the mayor is running here. Oh, they say, hello, hello, green, green Toradje, let's go. And I was, wow, he knows about the green Toradje, he knows about the sustainability, he, we reach the person and he knows what we are doing. So, and I think that's the most important uh, thing that we got from the mission. And of course, uh, about today, I hear last year was everything about you know enthusiasm and, and oh how the, how nice the city, how nice that mission is and everything. And this year, I hear a lot of complaints. Where is the money comes from? Oh, we have this problem. We had that problem. And today is the problem solving uh, conference, and that's good. But. Uh, as a marathon runner, uh, I, I, I can say that uh, it's not a sprint, <laughs> it's a marathon and uh, we have to put all those kilometers one, to, one towards another and then we get a result and I believe that uh, one way or another we will reach the finish uh, 2030 or a bit, or a bit late. Thank you very much. No, th thank you very much indeed, Matt. And indeed, I think you're completely right to uh, sort of highlight the importance of the mission in terms of giving structure and a sense of direction uh, to the work that we're all trying to do together. Um, I really like your comments on, on crisis as a way of uh, avoiding responsibility. Uh, but what I really feel, talking to all of you, is that there is no lack of, uh, of readiness to take responsibility, to move from the sort of discussion of this sort of rather grand type into real action and delivering things. Um, and, and so, very powerful uh, final thoughts. Um, but uh, Natalia, do you want to maybe react a little bit to what we've heard? Any, uh, and in particular, um, maybe pick up on the question that I was asking about, you know, how do we make what we are doing in the mission relevant for the wider community of cities. I mean, both in Lithuania, but also in Spain, there were many cities who applied to join the mission who you know, were unfortunately not part of the original community. Now, how can we use perhaps better the national networks or other, other sort of ways of um, outreach? Because of course, you know, our, our overall objective 
is to make sure that the whole of the European Union uh, is climate neutral by 2050. And that means, of course, all of our cities. So, Natalia, you have a thought on that? Thank you. Yes, uh, really, mm, I think the, um, the, the national uh, governments are uh, aligned with the objective of the mission, but uh, they are not giving the priority that uh, the cities that are uh, committed with the mission uh, needs to uh, be faster than the rest of the cities. For me, this is the, the key point, because I think that uh, national governments uh, believe in, in, in the project and, are, and they have the same goals, but they have different time. We need to uh, be faster than the rest of the cities because uh, we have to reduce, in Zaragoza, for instance, 80% of the actual emission, the current emission, need to be reduced in seven years. So uh, this is a lot of work, and uh, we need to push uh, several projects in very uh, few time. For this reason, what we need uh, from our national government is that uh, the delivery of the funds be faster to uh, the cities in the mission. Mm. Uh, if we go to with the, se the rest of the cities to uh, next generation funds, uh, to um, concurrence uh, like the other, the, the time is too long. So this is very important. And the other point is that uh, we need to have uh, more uh, communication uh, to give the relevance and the priority that the mission have. Because I think that uh, we are doing, we are, we are some cities doing an important effort, asking companies, asking citizens to do this effort in the day to day. Uh, it's true, they will have the benefit of have a healthy life uh, faster, but now they have to do a special effort. So I think that I think that uh, it's necessary to have uh, more communication and give mm. priority to the effort they the, they are doing. We are doing as a cities of the mission. And uh, the other important point is um, the the framework, regulatory framework. Sometimes we find that we go faster than uh, the regulatory uh, goals. So, uh, for instance, in renewable energies, uh, technic technically, we can do things uh, that uh, there are many questions, many doubts, because the regulatory is not giving the security that companies uh, need to attend, uh, for instance, the, the, current, the, the projects that we are asking for doing, no? Uh, for this reason, uh, we need to be faster, everybody, uh, to be aligned uh, from the European Union to the cities between we need the regional and the national governments uh, thinking uh, that uh, we need a special support, a special for regulatory and for uh, financial funds delivery. This is the most, the most important point, and with this, we will have the support that we, we need to get the goal. Well, Natalia, I, I mean, I think you're, you're absolutely right that, that you know, there are different dimensions. There is, you know, we've been talking a lot about how we can uh, sort of mobilize funding that we need faster and in a more predictable way. Um, you're right, absolutely, to make the link also between uh, the regulatory framework and you know, how we work with national governments. A lot of people saying that we need to do more to reach out, uh, and I hope that with the support of the Spanish presidency and on the back of the review of the missions that we're now undertaking, we will have opportunities to engage with ministers, um, not just research ministers, but also environment, climate ministers uh, in the coming months to give greater focus and visibility. But I, I'd like to come back to your point about communication um, and, you know, and how do we make the mission uh, a, a sort of a, a reality for the daily lives of, of the citizens. And, and come back maybe to the uh, point you made, um, Davides, about the, the interest that it's generating in, among young people in particular. 
And I wonder if you'd like just perhaps to say a word or two about how you in your city have been sort of addressing the challenges of citizens' engagement around the priorities and the mission, also getting people to understand and accept sometimes really you know, unpopular changes. I mean, I was in Dublin and Cork last, last week and we were talking about you know, the difficulty of just getting acceptance of building a few more cycle lanes. And the transformation that we're really talking about here is much more fundamental. And so you know, I'd be really interested to get you know, your perspective on that. Yeah, I, I think you're right that uh, we still, we are not aware yet of how many changes we have to make and uh, how many uh, those uh, uncomfortable changes that we have to make because uh, uh, people, they don't like to change. Uh, they like to tell others to change, but they don't like to, to change themselves. But uh, uh, I think that the most, the one thing that uh, you can get uh, is to inspire people to inspire people to change. That's the only thing you, to, to get the result. Because uh, if you take a lane of, 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 of the car and you put the bike lane, the people, they are not you know, inspired. They are, uh, they are at, I mean, they don't, they don't like to, take the car, to, to leave the car at home and take the bike. But, uh, uh, but when you inspire, uh, of course, it takes time. But when you inspire and he feels that he made the decision, not the government made the decision, uh, then you get the result, and you can get the result for a very long time. Uh, what we are doing, we are, of course, communicating uh, during the, 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 what we have, you know, Facebook or, or civic engagement in, in a lot of forms, you know, uh, uh, but uh, we have a, a slogan uh, that uh, maybe we are uh, too small, to change the world, but uh, we are big enough to show example. And we have that really small slogan and we are using it when we are meeting with the, with the, with the businesses, when we're meeting with a with person, and then, the, you know, when you start with that inspiration, then, then, then you go to the details, uh, and then when you go and speak with those, uh, that, with, the, with the consequences of, of our actions, you know, you try to, 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 to give the arguments, uh, and then you have a conversation. When you, when you come in and you say, we change that because of that, you know, we change that because we are in a city's mission. Uh, what is that? Well, I don't hear that city's mission. Uh, no, I don't hear. So we need to, we need to have some kind of inspiration to, to people, to businesses, and, uh, and say that uh, you are part of our community, right? And this is our slogan. You want to join? And he says, if he says no, no problem, I'll come back later. But if, if he says yes to that question, if he says yes to our, that he will be a part of the main goal of all of the community, then he starts thinking. And then you don't need to push him any, uh, anymore. He goes uh, faster than you can possibly think sometimes. So uh, I think we need uh, to search for inspiration. I, I know it's, it's hard, but, but somehow let's... Uh, let's not take, uh, let's us be inspired first and believe in what we do first. Uh, because if we don't believe what we do, how we can inspire another ones, uh, other people? We don't. So let's, let's stay inspired. No, thank you. And I really love your... Uh, I, I really love your slogan, and I hadn't heard it before, you know. Uh, not big enough to change the world, but small enough to lead by example. That, that's so powerful. Um, but maybe I could just sort of take forward a little bit the conversation and to see, you know, what is, is, it, what is it that makes this, uh, this whole transition attractive? I mean, we, the focus of the mission is on becoming climate neutral by 2030, right? Uh, and to do that, you know, we, we call ourselves the climate neutral and smart city, so there's a lot of, you know, sort of technology behind. Um, but what about the links with the, with the wider environmental agenda? I mean, uh, and here I make no apology as Deputy Director General for the Environment to make the link between nature, between clean air, clean water, uh, the other dimensions of the European Green Deal beyond, you know, making the energy system more efficient and getting transport right and improving the energy efficiency in buildings, which is what many people talk about here. I mean, how do you, um, I mean, either of you, if you want to pick this up, um, do people make the link um, between the 
sort of hardcore climate agenda and the broader environmental challenges? Uh, and, and actually, are those environmental challenges the things that can better win hearts and minds? You know, you tell people they leave their car at home to save fuel, and it's a painful choice. But you tell them that there's a beautiful new green space or there are nature-based solutions to avoiding catastrophic flooding in the city, and then you, you capture a bit their, their imagination. But um, Natalia, I don't know, you have any local experience with this? Well, uh, really, um, I think it's very important uh, to see the, the global project and to explain to the, uh, all the citizens that is um, a, a global project that ha will have benefits in different areas. In some of, the, of them, they will receive uh, cities greener, more sp spaces uh, with nature or uh, with the rivers uh, better than in, in the past. And in others, they need to change the habits uh, to uh, be more uh, recycling, for instance, uh, increase the recycling or where, uh, others' new habits, or uh, stop using the car and start using the bike. No? So at the end, it's very important, the communication, to give them the global view to see that uh, it's a global effort with benefits in their uh, health, with benefits in their life, but also with some changes in, the, in their habits. It's important uh, to have a global project in different areas. It's important mobility, but it's important in energy, it's important uh, with um, efficiency in the water, in the use of the water, very important. It's important in reducing the emissions uh, and increase the quality of the, of the air that we are breathing, uh, and we need to be very pedagogic through schools, through uh, universities, through associations, and through a different uh, community in, in the city. So uh, starting uh, giving communication to all of them and uh, sell the project as a global project in all the areas to understand the benefits and the changes they have to do in some of their habits. And David, you want to? I, th I think that we're still in the, uh, in the early stages of the early adopters that are coming in and, uh, and, uh, and having that all in in the, in the climate uh, action. Or, but I think that we are, we are going that way. We are, when I, speak, when I think about uh, the Lithuanian context, and I remember the 2016 national parliament elections, there were, nobody was talking about the green, about sustainable development and all those uh, um, uh, spheres. Uh, and when I remember the 2020 uh, parliament elections, it was one of the top three uh, theme or the priority in the politician's mouth. So everything changes very fast, uh, and uh, and I believe that we are we are still in early adopters phase. You know when you, you know that marketing you know thing that first ones the people like 10% uh, they they are the first movers the early adopters and then they are they are trying all the technology all the new technology uh, that are coming in or all the new things that are coming in uh, and uh, later on. You reach the point where, where all the community starts uh, using it uh, or starts understanding it. Uh, and uh, as, as I told you, I think it's, it's still a long way, but we have to, we have to go that way. No, well, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, uh, as I guess some people will have realized, um, Vice President Timmermans is, is delayed in traffic. Um, but it gives us an opportunity perhaps to, you know, sort of round off uh, the, the conference with, with, you know, by picking up all some of the different ideas um, that, that we touched on. And, and one thing that has come through, you know, super clearly to me is that we still need to work hard on building the links with the national governments. I mean, we've got good examples in some member states. I think Spain is a really good example, although we can always do better. I mean, I, I was in Vilnius uh, a few months ago for a sort of joint meeting with the Baltic um, uh, uh, cities in the mission, um, where perhaps the national 
ministries were a little bit less in evidence. Um, but you know, how do we make this an attractive conversation so that we can get to the right people to unlock the funding, to get the regulatory changes that we need, uh, and to ensure that you know, the, the, the success of the mission is also part of a national level political conversation? And maybe we start with you, Natalia, since you have a, a very active national level political uh, conversation going on. You want to start? Oh, you have to take a plane. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I will start, and I have the final remarks, and then I have to catch the plane. And uh, uh, yeah, we are speaking a lot with the national uh, parliament members and with the uh, with the minister of uh, of environment. And uh, actually, right now, uh, we we got the permission to get some money. So we hope that. Uh, uh, the, the promise to get the money uh, to help us uh, to, to, to prepare the contract, so hopefully we can do it. But uh, uh, we are also one of the first movers in Lithuania that we built the coalition of 20 municipalities, to, of 20 green municipalities coalition, where we uh, just gather around and uh, with the parliament members, uh, together with uh, all the municipalities, and then we speak about the problems. Uh, we speak about the mission, we, we speak about the you know, regular uh, problems that we have every day and, uh, and then hopefully we can get to the point where we can get more national level help, uh, not only for the cities' missions, uh, for, the, for the cities in the missions, let's say Vilnius and Tauragia, yeah, there are two cities in Lithuania, but for uh, all the cities in Lithuania we can get maybe more, uh, more, more funding, more help, uh, more skills, uh, because there's... Uh, plenty of problems that we are solving, uh, especially in the regions. Uh, I mean, we are solving that uh, we don't have enough uh, people to work on this team. We have uh, one person, Agne, and uh, she's working with that, but we need more. <laughs> so, so there's a lot of problems, and we, we need to, to, to do it uh, together with national politics and together with the European Commission and the member of parliaments, uh, parliament. Uh, I, I, I think that they also have some kind of a... Uh, Mm, I don't know, priorities yeah, and yeah. to speak about it. Uh, but I didn't hear a lot from member of parliaments in Lithuania about the city's mission. Maybe from the commissioner, I think mean, we have a commissioner <laughs> of Lith in Lithuania. You certainly uh, do. Yeah, Virginius yeah. yeah. Sintiavicius. So, uh, so I'll try to speak with him as well. <laughs> yeah, well he, he's my commissioner, right. as you know. Yeah, so, so I, thank, I speak thank to you. him as well. I have so. to catch my plan. Thank no, you. But thank you very much indeed. And uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, Natalia, you want to say a word on this? I, You, uh, okay. <laughs> you the last word for you. Well, um, from our government, from the government of Spain, um, they are happy in all the ministers with the mission, with the mission because uh, they have in general the same view, the same objective. So when we have asked them for, call, for, for half a call and uh, a meeting uh, to explain the projects, uh, it's not always it's a good reference and we have a good answer. But the point is to change from good words to good actions, no? Yeah. Or priority actions. So, uh, in general, the words are uh, fantastic, but the point is that when they are uh, closing the general budget, they are not giving uh, any point to the cities that we are in the mission. Okay. Or when they are doing the, the basis of the currency competitive for the delivering the next generation, they are not giving extra points for yeah. the cities that are in the uh, mission. No? So this is what we need to continue working with them and with mm -hmm. you yeah. uh, to, to change the, the, main, the mind and then uh, get the support that we need um, to, to reach the goal and to reach to 2030 yeah. with uh, the net emissions that we are working for. Great. Well, look, thank you very much indeed. I, I think Mr. Timmermans is now in the building, so I will hand back to Katarina. Uh, but thank you all very much. It's been huge fun. And let's keep working thank together. Thank you very much.